Hey Dazzlers, welcome back to my channel. So I've been admiring these really beautiful modern wall decor pieces online for several months now. They're usually several hundred dollars, but they're so beautiful and they definitely fit into my modern glam style home. In today's video, I show you how I use these pieces as inspiration to make my own version for a fraction of the cost. So if you're interested in how I make this really beautiful wall decor piece, then just keep watching. Here are the items that I use for this project. I'll leave a complete list of everything that I use for this project down in the description box. I'm starting off with these plastic wedge spacers that I picked up for about $4 from Lowe's. I'm using fix all adhesive and hot glue to attach two of those spacers together. I made 48 of these pieces. Next, I used that same fix all adhesive and hot glue to attach one of those wedge pieces to the back of each of my three inch mirrors. To cover up the orange color of my spacers, I'm using this white enamel folk art paint. It would have been much easier to spray paint the spacers before attaching them to the back of the mirrors, but I didn't have any white spray paint on hand, so I decided to use what I had. While my paint dried, I began working on my canvas. I'm covering the sides of my canvas with this mirrored duct tape. This mirror tape does not adhere well to canvas, so I'll be adding a layer of this 3M clear tape on top of that tape to hold it in place. I decided to add some of the clear tape directly to the canvas. Then I added the mirror tape and then another layer of the clear tape on top. Here's what the edges of my canvas look like with the mirror and clear tape attached. I think that this method worked well. I could see some small air bubbles, but they were very unnoticeable unless you were really close up to the canvas. I then used this construction adhesive to begin attaching my mirror pieces to my canvas. You'll notice that I'm only adding the construction adhesive to the very tip of my wedge and to the bottom edge of my mirror. This is because this is the only part of the piece that will come in contact with the canvas. In hindsight, I should have glued my wedge a little closer to the edges of my three inch mirrors. 
This would have allowed me to glue the entire wedge flush with the canvas. However, these plastic pieces were impossible to remove once the glue dried. So I continued using the pieces that I made and I made it work. I made sure that I added the adhesive the same way on each of my mirrors, but I'm placing them down slightly different to create a pattern. Once I placed my first row, I made sure that the mirrors were aligned and I allowed my glue to set for about 20 minutes before continuing to add my mirrors. Once I placed all of my mirrors, I noticed that I had placed them a little too closely. So I ended up readjusting them to fit across the entire canvas. And I allowed this piece to dry for about four hours. To add a touch of glam to this very modern piece, I'm adding single strips of this really pretty crystal trim that I picked up from Hobby Lobby on sale. Once I had my crystal trim added, I then allowed my piece to dry overnight. The following day, I used an X-Acto knife to remove the excess glue. I then began the process of cleaning and buffing my mirrors. To clean my mirrors, I'm simply using rubbing alcohol and a cleaning cloth that I picked up from the auto section of Dollar Tree. To hang my canvas, I'll be using these Velcro command strips. I'll add one set of the medium strips to each corner of my canvas. And here's my finished look. Because I either purchased these items on sale or already had them at home, it cost me about $25 to make. And I think it turned out beautiful. But what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. If so, please like, comment, and share. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and be sure to turn on your notifications so that you don't miss my next video. Remember, I upload new videos every single week. So until next time, guys, bye.